Salvation is free, but the anointing will cost you everything. When you get saved, you lose your unsaved friends. When you become anointed, you lose your lukewarm friends. There is a price to pay for the anointing. All of us have the anointing within us, but not all of us walk in the anointing. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. And ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. That's 1 John chapter 2, verse 27. Now, the anointing is God's power. We all carry God's power, but not all of us live in such a way that his power can flow through us to help those around us. If you desire God's power to move through you, then you must count the cost. The anointing oil, which was symbolic for God's empowering presence, was created from olive oil. The olives used for the oil had to be shaken from the trees and then crushed. So two things had to happen before the oil or the anointing was produced, a shaking and a crushing. If you want God to use you, you'll have to be okay with him shaking you from the familiar. God loves you too much to leave you in mediocrity. So he'll shake up the systems upon which you rely. He'll shake the relationships that hold you back. He'll shake the circumstances that limit your potential in him. Don't expect that your life will go just as you want it to go. Expect that your plans will be disrupted. Expect that you'll find yourself in situations that require much faith. After all, if where you are doesn't require faith, you're not in the will of God. And after you are shaken from the familiar, you will be crushed, put under pressure to be processed. Here's the thing, pressure can only reveal what's already within you. It can't produce what's lacking. So, only the spirit filled produce power under pressure. So if you want God to use you, if you truly want to walk in the anointing, you must die to self. God must process you before he can use you. Now, sadly, because we live in the day of social media, anyone can create an online platform. And because just anyone can create an online platform, anyone can skip the process. But ministry is more than influence, it's service. We're ministers, not public figures, servants, not celebrities. We're called to preach God's word, not our political preferences or personal opinions. Ministry is not necessarily a promotion. It's a death to self. Put your desires on the cross and leave them there. And the reward is beyond worth it. Our reward is that we will please the Lord. Our reward is knowing that Jesus will reap the reward of his suffering, lost souls. So if you want the anointing, die to self. The Holy Spirit can't fill you if you're full of yourself. Your prayer should be, Lord, empty me and spend my life for your glory. Count the cost, lay it down, let God's power flow through you. And remember that the anointing doesn't come through striving, it comes through surrender. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free teachings like this, make sure you're signed up to my emailing list so that I can send you weekly emails with content that will help you to grow spiritually. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.